In this video, we will look at how you interact with your dashboards as a designer. Here I have an example workbook that has a whole lot of dashboard tabs. They continue down this list as a matter of fact. And um, what's new with release 2021.2 is that if I want to do something with any one of these dashboard tabs, which by the way, I toggle between by clicking the name like this. Uh, so here I can right click and I can duplicate, I can rename or I can remove. So for example, I want to duplicate this dashboard. I do that. I get a copy of it with uh, a number appended to the end of the name uh, to, on the right side of the original dashboard. If I'd like to move this one, I just point at it, left click, hold the left click button and drag the dashboard tab into a new location. Uh, I could right click it again and I could say rename. And uh, maybe this is a dashboard that I want to delete. So I rename it delete. I can remove it by right clicking and saying remove and it goes away. We no longer see it. Uh, however, the original dashboard tab is of course still here. The one uh, we started with. As I want to move along to other dashboards, I can expand this list and I can pick one such as, for example, numeric line. I get to this dashboard. And at this point, we have a similar expandable list at the left end here which is showing all of those dashboard names from the first one and on that no longer fit into this ribbon here. If I want to create a new dashboard tab and just for clarity's sake, I will switch over to this dashboard. In this position, if I press this plus sign and said, say add new dashboard, it's going to um, be created immediately to the right of the dashboard, which I was showing when I clicked the plus sign and the name is at first automatically generated but it's then also selected and active for renaming so I can immediately start typing to change the name and when I'm done I click outside of the tab and it gets applied.